Hey guys, welcome back to Words on Paper. My name is Jesus and today I'm picking up some books that I had placed an uh, order for at the local used bookstore. I'm in Manteca, California. And today we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go to the book exchange, Manteca. It's an awesome used bookstore. They also have some new used uh, books as well. Um, let's see what we can find. This place is stacked, floor to ceiling, stuff on the walls. Um, so we're gonna go find some hidden gems and maybe walk out of here with some more books. All right, so now you can see why that place is one of my favorite uh, little bookstores locally that I go to. Uh, there's a ton of stuff. Uh, I didn't realize that I had spent almost two hours there just browsing um, and doing some recording. So I figured I'll show you guys what I got. I ended up walking away with nine books. Here's the stack. <laughs> All right. So kind of go through these. Um, the lovely ladies there, first of all, I love the, the ladies there. They're phenomenal. They're so nice and friendly. If you need anything, give them a call. Ask them while you're there. Um, so I have seven or six out of the ten books in the Demonata series by Darren Shan. And I bought the books that I was missing. So book five, this is Blood Beast. Put that there. Uh, this is book number six, Demon Apocalypse. And this is a 10 book series um, that Darren Shan did. Um, I've read the first three, excuse me, and I thought they were phenomenal. Um, this is book number eight, Wolf Island. The covers on the, these books are so freaking cool. They're really neat. I love all the covers. And this is number nine. This is dark calling so these are the four books i was missing out of the 10 book series um so now i have the whole series and what i'll do is um right now i'm packing because we're going to be moving so once i get all of them together i'll probably do a quick video and and do a review of what i've read so far and what i got left to read so, or excuse me what i have left to read 
It's kind of weird. So I got those four books. All right. They also have a cool little horror shelf. Um, it's actually a little bit bigger than I think, you know, most places. Um, they had a whole bunch of leisure and um, small press, like, horror books. So I picked up this one called Mischief by Douglas Clegg. This is a leisure book, uh, really good condition. A little bit of damage here on the side, but um, nothing really major, no major creases. It's not bent, the cover's pretty good. And one book that I have um, had on my want to read list for a while um, is Greeley's Cove by John Gideon. You can see that. Look at that cover. That cover is awesome. I have been staring at this cover like nonstop um, since yesterday since I bought these. And this is in great condition. One crease right here along the spine. But overall, and I got a sticker I got to try to take off there. But overall, really good condition of the book. Um, the guys over at the Final Guys podcast, uh, I forgot who said they were reading this or had read it. Um, described it and this is something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while so so glad I did this was on the, on the second to last shelf um, so if you guys go to any used bookstores make sure you check those bottom shelves or those little hidden areas behind books um, because you never know what you're gonna find you might find some gems uh, and the last I got three books so next year in 2021 don't see 2022 um, I want to start reading some more fantasy and introducing some more sci-fi as well. So I bought the first three books in the Age of Fire series by E.E. E. King. And one reason why I bought these books was because of the covers. These covers are <laughs> phenomenal. Look at the drawing. That dragon is freaking amazing. So this is book number one. This is Dragon Champion. And I believe this is a six book series. This is book number two, Dragon Avenger. Look at that. Oh man. These covers are ridiculous. They're so good. Um, I saw on Goodreads that these were getting about a 3.8, 3.9. And uh, a couple of the books were even getting 4.0 ratings and higher. So I figured this would be a cool series to get into. I read the synopsis of the first book. It had me hooked. And this is book number three, Dragon Outcast. Look at that. Man, if you don't love dragons and fantasy and stuff, like, I think that's so cool. <laughs> this book, these book covers will make you love dragons. I mean, so I got book three, book number two, and book number one. So I really can't wait to get into these um, as well. So I had a great haul. So if you guys are ever in the Central Valley of California and you're looking for small bookstores um, in and around the Manteca, Stockton, Modesto area, visit the Book Exchange in Manteca. The ladies there are great. If they don't have something, they'll order it for you. They will try their hardest to get it. There's so many books, uh, as you saw, up and down the shelves. They have a wide range of genres for you. Um, to read as well. Um, I don't know if you even saw, they even have some erotica, which that section has actually been growing a little bit more and more. Every time I go, they have more and more books. So somebody's reading them or donating them, but <laughs> even that section is growing. Visit them at the book exchange. They're phenomenal. I can't say enough about them. They're one of my local favorite bookstores to visit. All right, guys. So thank you for watching my book adventure for this weekend. Um, my name is Jesus, and like always, leave a comment, drop a line, like and subscribe this video if you like this uh, type of content. Um, I do have some book haul content coming up, and I do have a couple reviews, and I'm even doing a book tag. I'm working on that right now, so. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much, have a good day.